But he should be the biggest one by far. Yeah, we're gonna take him down. We had a lot of fun duck hunting the past few days, but the thing about that is we lost a ton of money because every time we had to change the time to uh, go back early in the morning, it cost a lot of money. So what I want to do today is go back out here on Silver Ridge Peaks, which we haven't been here in a while, but I did hear that the mule deer are actually fixed now. In other words, we're not going to be seeing like level sixes and sevens anymore. It should be a big four. And then after that, diamond potential. I just jumped up a huge muley buck. He's a big level four, guaranteed gold, somewhere around like a 240 or 250s. And I was looking around the herd and all of a sudden I found this guy. That is an absolute giant muley buck there. Up to 308 on the score estimate on him. He's bedded perfectly broadside at about 280. And I think we're gonna take the shot. We'll be using the M1 this time because we haven't used it in quite a while. But about 280, we should be able to hold pretty much right on. Held a little bit high, actually held for the spine, but that should have been pretty much perfect. Actually, that buck there is the one that I saw that I thought was going to be the 240 buck. Oh, I can't quite take that shot. Even if we laid prone. Oh, just smoked him. Perfect shot. Well, let's head over there and go find out how we did. I do believe that second shot should have been... Like shoulder blade front of the lung if we didn't hit that tree. But I honestly think we made it count. So I'm over here looking for blood from our big buck that we shot. And I just see him piled up right where we last saw him here. Look at where he went down though. Right underneath this tree. We can hardly even see him. That's a little bit unfortunate. But let's pick him up. And he's going to be a 259 gold. So we actually drilled that front shoulder there and it kind of stopped us from getting enough penetration, but still a beautiful muley buck as he was bedded there and almost a 300 yard shot with the M1. It performed quite well. I really like this rack a lot. And uh, even though it said the estimate was up to 308, that basically means what the max estimate is supposed to be. So it does seem like everything is working quite well with these muleys. And honestly, I think we should get it mounted because it's a great looking muley buck. Oh, yeah, that's our first one, too. So the problem is with the second buck is we never spotted it, so we really don't know exactly where he was. Even with the tracks on here, it's going to be pretty difficult to find. I mean, yeah, if we find the spot where we get a nice vital hit, that would be one thing. But until then, kind of like trying to find a needle in a haystack here. There he is, we finally found our buck. I figured we made a decent shot. Let's pick him up and ended up getting, ooh, that's what happened. So we hit a little bit far back at about 248. He was behind that tree, but at least we didn't hit the tree. However, I think that this is the same buck. It's just that uh, the estimate went up to 240 and I thought he'd be a little bigger than that. Kind of a unique looking buck though, that's not bad. Yeah, it had a little bit low left lung and stomach at 240. That's kind of a decent bull elk right there, and he's about 220 out. We have the 300 Magnum, so I think we're going to take that and take down this bull here. Try and catch the back of the heart and lung. Look good. So here's actually our bull down right here. Let's grab him. And a 359 gold. Got a left lung liver stomach at 213. That is not a bad sized bull right there. We tried to hit the heart, but... Actually, a little too far back, but centered the lung, liver, and stomach. Well, it's a buck, but it's definitely not the buck that I saw before. However, I do think we're going to take him down with the bow because he's going to come pretty close to us. The buck that I saw is going to be probably around like a 240 or 250s buck. This buck here isn't even going to make gold, I don't think. I'll probably take him right there. Bad wind. Well, we'll go for it. Held for about 45. Hopefully we didn't spook that uh, gobbler too much. All right, well, totally messed that up, but it should take him down eventually. Oh, okay. Let's just forget this whole thing even happened. Oh, we got a gobbler right here. Come on, land, land, land. Uh, we didn't get nothing. Oh my god. Sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. Whoa! 
I guess he knew. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> what the heck? Dude, that thing just flew away and piled up right in front of us here. And that actually might be the buck that we were looking for this whole time. I can't believe that that just happened right now. <laughs> we must have hit him on the fly and he just did like a barrel roll. Okay, that's our buck. That's the buck that we did hit before. The whole point was I didn't want to spook this other big buck that I saw here. Well, at this point, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I can't believe we got that thing. Wow. He just came barrel rolling down. And he's a decent gold too. That is almost a max weight turkey. Got him at 78 yards out on the fly and... <laughs> oh, that was something else. It really was. So I'm hoping that that buck does go down. Yes, it does look like he went down, or at least something went down with the hunting pressure like that. You know, I never really hunt this area much. When the game first came out, I hunted this area a lot for turkey, but honestly, there's a bunch of mule that bed up in here and even bighorn sheep. Well, we found our buck over here and it looks like it was a 55 yard. It looks like we hit shoulder blade. We we're a little bit high, that's what happened. He was facing right at us and we were just a little bit high, but honestly, we we're kind of hard to the right too. We should have been left more. Oh well, at least we got him, 177 buck. Not a bad looking muley. There he is, that's the buck that we were looking for from before, about 360 out. I would say that should be like a 260s buck, maybe like 250s. Kind of at a bad angle though, 350 yards out. What is that one? It's a small level three. I couldn't see him the whole time because he was actually in this thick grass here. And until we got back to like 360, we can finally see him and I think we might be able to take that shot. All right, 360. Oh, well, a little bit high, but that should be all right. Here he is down right here. Let's take a look at him. And he's gonna score 250. That's a cool rack. Ended up getting shoulder right, right lung at 344. And we actually were just a little bit high on that, but not a bad buck. And that's actually a gray, very cool. Whoa, we got a pie ball muley buck right there. Take a look at that thing. Not a bad size one too, about 350 yards out, but I don't exactly know where he's heading to. So we're gonna have to put a lead on him. Shot looked good to me. Yeah, he's running. If we have to, we could put a follow up, but we're not going to because he just piled up right there. Beautiful. That's the first pie ball muley that I've seen in a while, especially down in this spot here. Where, well, actually, we're kind of on the north end of the map over here by, uh, that's what it's called. It's called Two Fawns. We're way up here by Two Fawns. That, however, is a decent ram. Probably, yeah, that's definitely level four. Yeah, it is 159. We're gonna take him down. Well, I don't wanna lose. We're gonna call from another buck over there. So potentially there could be some more bucks over there. Uh, we're gonna take down this ram though, 159 here. Okay, we get it, Muley. Well, maybe we should check it out and see what's all over there. Because apparently there's more than one buck there. That's where our piebald came from, but he kind of just started wandering. Oh, there we go. That's a solid buck. It's actually only a level three, but that's a really solid muley. Gold potential for sure. All right, like a 218, 219. Cool looking rack though. There's our ram, there's our buck. We're gonna double up. Here we go, here we go. Wait till the buck slows down. That's what it is. One side is a really good rack on that buck. Got him, where's our ram? Mm, I can't find the ram. There's our ram. Ah, I knew he was gonna take off. Well, if I could have found him, I could have taken the shot, but he might slow up up here, actually. Our buck piled up already, but that ram should slow up somewhere out here. He's got some really good mass on the backside of him there. Yeah, he slowed up. <laughs> Would have been a smoke shot, but he was running, so. We're going to put a follow-up into him and just absolutely smoked him. I don't think the first shot would have taken him down. I think because he was walking, we ended up getting uh, intestine, potentially liver. 
but the second shot just flipped him over. So I think we're gonna grab our muley buck here first. Then remember, after we grab our ram, we're gonna have to go over and grab the piebald, and I told you that that might be a gold. It is a gold, 225.7 gold, left lung, stomach, liver at 176 as he was coming at us. So that worked out pretty nicely, and cool looking rack on that buck there. Then our ram, I really wanna find out where we hit him the second shot. So here's our ram. And he's going to score 148, and we actually did hit liver. So that first shot would have brought him down at 241. But had we not, yeah, I mean, he was quartering away. But with the penetration of this M1, we just didn't quite have enough penetration to go through and hit the opposite lung. Actually, we were angled pretty well. But then the second shot just hit flesh, and... uh I guess he was going down either way. It looked really cool though, because we did take the shot as he was piling up. But 148 gold ram is definitely a pretty solid ram, and he weighed 296 pounds. I see a buck down. This should be our piebald. It's definitely him. That's actually kind of a unique looking piebald, because he does have just one spot there, but also back leg and his hind quarter, and kind of like the very back of his tail there has a spot on it as well. So let's pick him up. A 163 piebald. Ah, so this side here is not very piebald, but this side here is quite a bit more piebald and has a really cool spot and even has a spot on his neck. That's cool. Got a liver, stomach, and left lung at 365 on the walk with the M1, so we almost didn't lead him enough, but then again, he was quartering, so that's a pretty good shot. And because he is a piebald, he's definitely going in our trophy lodge. Got a pretty decent mythical mountain lion out there at about 296, and then there's another one right here at about 240. So if we're good enough, we should be able to double up here and take down the mythical first. 290, we'll have to hold a little bit high. And that should have been smoked. And that should have been smoked. So both those should be going down here pretty soon. We actually got another muley buck over there, kind of a decent one, gold potential. He's about 415 out there. So we're gonna have to definitely zero in for 300 in this uh, situation here. And uh, honestly, I thought that we only took down two mountain lion because the other one, it seemed like it didn't go down very well, but we actually have three down here. Anyways, 413 is quite a ways out there. So we just heart shot him. <laughs> wow, that's pretty good. Anyways, let's go over here and grab this mountain lion. Which is going to be the first one, I think. Uh, well, the second one, technically. We double lunged her at 246. And then there's two over here. One's going to be our mythical. The other one's going to be... I don't even know what it is because we never spotted it. So this is going to be our mythical. And yeah, we definitely smoked them. First shot, 297 yards out. 37.9. Yeah, shoulder blade too. That is not bad at all. Then what is this one going to be? This is going to be a female. So this is a totally different mountain lion. We're sitting there thinking that the other uh, mountain lion didn't go down yet. That's because it was this one, 310. And then we hit it in the shoulder blade and lung as they're looking at us just like that at 297. Well, here he is and let's find out how we did. Actually, we ended up hitting spinal cord and left lung at 427. So we still got lung. And he's going to be a 224 gold. Or maybe just a slight bit high. But I mean, honestly, that's kind of a smoke buck. I just came down to one of my favorite spots for big muleys. And there was absolutely nothing here except for two mountain lions. I just decided to smoke those two mountain lions. And then all of a sudden, lo and behold, a couple of beautiful bucks came in. And that right there is definitely one of them. About 260 out. And the mountain lion should be smoked somewhere over... Actually, like right there. We'll go take a look at those in a little bit. But for now, we're going to try and get a shot on this big buck. Uh, that might work right there. 250. Yeah, that'll work. And yeah, we'll take a doe just because we can. But yeah, right here is both of our mountain lions. <laughs> and honestly, I couldn't believe it when I came here and there was absolutely no mule deer. I was like, why is there no mule deer here? And then I saw these two guys sitting there, and we took down both of them, 250 and 250. And then, right behind it, all of a sudden I see a whole herd of mule deer, and one of them was a beautiful muley buck. And there's even yet another 
Beautiful muley buck coming in the back here. That's actually a whole new herd of muleys. Uh, he should be the biggest one by far. Yeah, we're going to take him down. Ooh, we had to take a trotting shot. And I don't know if we messed that up. I think we might have. Which isn't the end of the world, but it's still... Not that great. Where'd he go? Way out in the front. Turn back. Just turn back. Perfect! We got him. All right. Well, I think we might've hit a little bit far to the right when we took the shot. So we'll probably hit him somewhere in the front shoulder. But the second shot, I think we got double lung. Anyways, this is going to be our big buck here. And double lung hard shot at 246, but at 272, that's an awesome looking muley buck right there. He weighed 401 pounds. You can see he was quartering at us pretty hard, and we centered the lung and heart there, but I think we might get this guy mounted because he's got a pretty unique looking rack on him. And I think this guy here is one of our problems that we had before. Hey, that actually ended up being a mythical. 38.5 is actually not too far off from being a diamond. But 95 yards out, we centered the lung pretty nicely. And I think this should be our big buck as well. It should be like a 260, 270s buck. And we did save him, but a 242. A really good looking buck. I want to see where we hit though. Oh, wow. What? Uh, I'd say we got a little bit robbed on that shot there. I mean, it, it didn't even touch the skin. It was trotting. But that would have been a perfect heart shot right there. Oh, well. Well, we saved it and then ended up getting, looks like, double lung shoulder blade at 228. And that's actually another pretty solid muley buck right there. So I thought we head back to our trophy lodge here and on the wall we're going to have a couple of really cool true rack muley bucks. We got a 270, a 282 there, a 270, a 304 up on the wall there. These are our two diamond uh, true rack muleys and then the buck that we got today is going to be this one and he's going to score 272.2. We did get a 250 that we got mounted as well but um, I don't know where he's at right now. This is going to be the pie ball buck that we did get today though. Yeah, overall it was a pretty successful mule deer hunt. I am so glad that we have big bucks back on our map again. And that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.